Alright, so this is going to be basically me experimenting with Safe Exit because so many people have told me, hey, you should try it out because uh, that kind of fixes the problem. And unfortunately, I have tried to install it already, as you can probably see, and it just doesn't want to work. So we're going to reinstall it and kind of go through the motions here because, uh, yeah. So another pro tip that I have for you guys, if you're considering flirting around with dev mode, is uh, you'll want to go to settings and you'll want to manage your dev storage and set the amount of storage you want to give the sandbox because you want to do this before you do much with the Xbox because when you reset this, it is going to wipe everything on dev mode. So you don't want to do this before, after you've got everything established in dev mode, you've got your emulators installed, you've got your save progress, all that wonderful stuff. Do this before you install anything or you're going to be very sorry. So anyway, we have good old safe exit here that I need to reinstall. And if we try to leave dev mode again, we get that stupid checkbox. So I've gone to my console's IP address, as you can see here in Edge, which I'm only using for this purpose. Anyway, you're going to get this big scary warning. We're just going to tell, I know this thing. I want to go there anyway. And you get your Xbox's kind of developer dashboard right here. So when you download Safe Exit and extract it, you're going to have the Safe Exit folder, which when you open it, it's going to have a dependencies folder and Safe Exit itself. We're going to ignore the dependencies folder for a quick second, and we're going to go add and we're gonna go safe exit. We're gonna just drag it onto the window here. And that's what we wanna put down here at first. So next, then now it's gonna ask for dependencies. So we are going to install those. And I believe, no, go away. I accidentally double clicked the file. Let's see if I can install all three of these you have to drag them one by one otherwise it will only try to install one of them so let's go ahead and click start and it should be installing package successfully registered all right all right and now safe exit should hopefully be ready to rock so now we're gonna go ahead and try it and that's what we want to happen. We get that X, it's going to look a little intimidating, but what's actually happening right now is it is restarting the console. And this is going to take a minute because switching between dev and retail mode does take a little bit of time for it to reconfigure itself. But again, it is purely non-destructive. So we're just going to wait here a moment so you guys can see that in fact it is going to restart. I will go ahead and turn off the window capture though, because don't need to see that. But there we go. Now we're rebooting, and soon you'll see we're in retail mode. And there we go. We can uh, power up the controller first, of course. And there we go. We are in retail mode. And it's prompting us to, you know, restart in dev mode if we want. So, yeah. Uh, safe exit. It works pretty good. Uh, I will say I do quite like it. The only thing I have negative to say about it is I wish it didn't have to exist. Because, uh, yeah, if Microsoft really wanted to uh, be a little more friendly, I feel like they would either make that check mark opt in rather than opt out or have a setting somewhere in the developer settings to turn that off because yeah that ugh. safe exit feels like a workaround for a problem that shouldn't exist in the first place but then again maybe i'm seeing this the wrong way so 
yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.